Welcome to the Perm Show. I am here at the In Their Own Words Museum in Perm, and my guest is Susan Heuser Ladwig, who is the director of the Perm Area Library. Thanks for being with us. Oh, thanks for having me. You always have so many things to talk about. I know that you still are doing story time even in the winter. We are, yes. You know, for the last couple of years, we've kind of postponed story time during January, February, and March. But we thought this year that we would go right through the winter months and see how it worked out and see if we could have people come in and, and bring their kids in for story time. So we are currently still having story time every Tuesday morning at 10.15. And I want to invite everyone in the area, um, if you have preschool aged children, please bring them in for story time. It's a lot of fun. We have a lot of volunteers that um, come in and do some reading, a little craft project to go along with it. So I really encourage everyone to bring their kids in for story time on Tuesdays. Absolutely, what a great thing to do. And it's free and you don't need to pre-register. <laughs> You know, it's so it's easy. That's right. Yes, an easy thing to do Tuesday morning at ten fifteen, and then as long as you're there, you may as well be reading because it's cold out, and you still have your reading program. We do. We are currently running our hot reads for cold nights program. It runs through the end of March. And so everyone still has a chance to come in and win some prizes. This is an adult program, and what we do is we hand out a little card to people, and for every four books you read, you get a small prize. If you get to 12 books, uh, then you win the Hot Reads mug for the year, and each year the mug is a little bit different. And so a lot of people come in and try and collect the mugs. And so you still have, oh, a good five weeks yet to, to participate in that. Yeah, good, good reminder. That's a great reminder, and I, I'm one of those people who keeps track of what I read, so even if I haven't started to keep track and turn in my slips, I can go back and sure. write down what I've done. I love the mugs every year. I just love your mugs that you give away over they there. Are a lot of fun. So. Yeah, and then um, of course you've got events. So why don't you tell our viewers what what's coming up at the library for for events that they can come to? We do have a number of events going on right now, and a lot of them are are specially funded through a program called. Um, what we call legacy funding. And it's a special state program for arts and history um, and cultural events in, in the state of Minnesota. And so we have a few of those coming up. Um, one of them is one that we have here called our Blue Stocking Salon. And the Blue Stocking Salon is an art history series for people to come into the library and hear a lecture on art history. We have two of the Blue Stocking Salon art history events coming up. The next one, is on March 14th, that's a Monday evening, mm -hmm. it's 7 p.m. And we really invite everyone, if you're at all interested in art or in history, to please um, come into the library and, and hear this lecture. It's, it's a lot of fun, and we really encourage people to stop in. Then that particular lecture will be on the Renaissance. Then after that, our last Blue Stocking Salon will be on April 11th, which again is a Monday, and that will be on Impressionism. And so we really invite everyone to stop in. Again, these are free programs. Um, you don't have to pre-register. You can just stop in and participate and, and listen to a really good lecture and, and maybe learn something in the cold winter months of Minnesota. Well, the, the, uh, that's a real difference in, in art styles. And, and what a fun time to learn about you know, the, well, all, everything that's going on in the Renaissance. And, and uh, wow, that, uh, you probably not learn just about the art, but what was influencing yes, the art it, at that time. It is. And it's also very interesting because the presenter brings along slides, and she has a very nice slideshow, and you get to see examples of all the different styles and the main artists of the time. So it, it is a lot of fun. OK, the first one uh, then is on, uh, did you have anything else you wanted to mention? Well, I do have okay. one other thing, and this is just a quick thing. Also part of the Legacy Program, we will be having a bookmaking workshop at the library. Oh, now we have we've finalized the arrangements for the the instructor to come, but we haven't finalized the date. So I can't give you a date on that, but I do just want to let people now know, um, watch the PERM paper or the EOT focus paper for that. Um, and it will be in March or April. I'm not exactly sure which month, but that should be a lot of fun. So yeah, the, your, your save, save those winter vacation Photos and, and all of that kind of thing. That's You're not true. talking about betting at the racetrack, right? No, no not okay, that no, kind of bookmaking. So we are doing a, okay that that kind of actual thing. paper paper and and other decorative things in books. Yeah. Super. Okay, and a phone number, Susan. 
You can get more information on the library or anything else at 346-4892. Okay. And you might as well give that website. I know it's a long one, yes. but... Our website is www.perm.lib.mn.us. Good job. Uh, thanks for being with us on the Perm Show, and I'm sure they can find information on that website mm -hmm. as well. Stick with us. We're going to come back, and since we're at the museum, we better talk to Lina about what's going on here. Welcome back to the Perm Show. My guest is Lina Ballar, and we are at the ITOW Museum in Perm, and we're going to talk about what's coming up, and you have many events and activities coming up. Let's start with bingo. Well, yes, we do. Bingo. The yes. BFW is going to host an old-fashioned type bingo, and we're going to hold it out at Mulligan's, so okay. they have, have a bit more room out there. And that is Saturday, March 5th, starting at 6.30. Okay. So. so if you like to play bingo or you just like to come along to support the BFW and the ITOW Veterans Museum, please do, you know, because okay. it's sponsored by the BFW and the Auxiliary of Perm, and well, that then the proceeds fun. will go to them, and we'll split it with the, the Veterans Museum. Super, so. and, and what about the Ring of Carry? And then the very next day, we have a come back here to the ITOW uh, Veterans Museum, and Ring of Carry will be performing. Their concert starts at 7 o'clock, and Ring of Carry, for those of you who don't remember them from previous years, is a wonderful Celtic-Irish band, so it's a great way to start the month, you know, get in the mood for St. Patrick's Day. A lot of uh, great musicians, high-spirited um, performers, and I think everybody's going to have a good time with that. Yeah, so, that's this weekend. So, yeah, that bingo on Saturday up. and Ring bingo of Carry on, on Sunday. So, and Ring of Carry yeah. on Sunday, yeah. What else is yeah, going well, on in we've March? We've got more things going on in March. Actually, later in the month, we have. Um, the FM Kicks Big Band, and that's a dance band, okay. you know, with some of the very best uh, musicians, uh, jazz musicians out of uh, Fargo Moorhead area, and they're going to be here on the 26th. Originally, it had been on the 25th, so there's a little date change here, but the, uh, they'll be here on the 26th. It's a 16-piece uh, dance band, and they'll be doing the music of Benny Goodman, Tommy Dorsey, you know, all the greats. So Is it'll that be really be fun. Here? Um, oh. I, I believe it will. Okay. You know, we we're, we're still working on the location, so you know, stay tuned to our web website, www.itowmuseum.org, uh, or give us a call at 346-7678 if you'd like okay. to uh, that know a little like bit more about fun. that. Yeah. They all do. Yeah. So, yeah. So that's our kind of fun evening events here. And then uh, starting in March, we have a new gallery show coming, and it's called Women in the Military, a Jewish Perspective. March, as you may know, is Women History Month, and so we thought this was a good opportunity to talk about some of the women at in the military, um, and particularly those who have served from our area, and then tie that in with some of the ones that have served at a, you know, uh, from around the, the country too. So that will be, you know, part of the featured exhibit. Is that, uh, uh, you know, so you'll have photographs and, and but uh, yeah, most, mostly just photos and mm -hmm. and, I, and the one small DVD that will be playing too, you know. And speaking of DVDs, we have a new exhibit here at the in the lobby of the museum. We're featuring a different veteran every month. Um, and for oh, the month neat. of February, it was uh, Don Simon, who had recently uh, uh, died. And, you know, he's a wonderful story that he gave. So it's a full-length DVD. And so next month, we will have another veteran. In know, March. In, Mar in yeah. March. So yeah. every month, we're going to feature another one, you know. Who um, you know whose story we have in, in entirety? You know when you go to the, the museum, you only get little excerpts from them. You know, so this is a way if you're really interested in their whole story, you know, just kind of sit down, come in, get a cup of coffee, sit down, relax. And, That's you know. yeah. And and if people haven't been to the to the museum for a while, there's there's you know not only do you want to come for the events and the exhibits, but but it is a nice, quiet, peaceful place to to kind of just. Hang out, and you know, I was my my. I have a my dad is turning. Oh, I can't say that. He would just not care for that very much. But he he's having a birthday. He's having a birthday. Coming. Happy birthday! Yeah, yeah. and I yeah. thought that would be a, this would be a great place. Yeah, because he's a, a naval vet um, okay. from you know World War II and the Korean War. That that yeah. this would be a great place to to find a card. That would be just perfect. And you do have this retail area where you we you have cards and stickers right, and right. and uh we have a little very, gift shop we yeah. have uh, our new thrift store um, which is a fundraiser for the museums and that's been kind of fun called the white elephant and then we also have we haven't really talked about it a lot but uh, hearing about the library reminded me we have a library that we're building up of uh, books and dv you know 
uh, DVDs and VCRs about you know military history. Wow, um, that's going to be so great. And so we hope that that will become a popular place too. Super. Well, um, it will, and will that be a lending library, or will it be an on-site? Uh, we haven't decided how we're going to work okay. that one out yet. All right. Well, Lina, <laughs> it's always a pleasure to have you yes, with us on the Perm Show. Why don't you give our viewers that phone number one more yeah. time? Call us if you have any questions, 346-7678. Our website is www.itowmuseum.org. Very good. Lina Ballar, thanks for being with us on the Perm Show, and we appreciate you tuning in as well.